Hey, hey. Good morning, everybody. Today is the fifth day of riding with Moto Dreamer Tours here in Colombia. Feeling better today. I was very sick yesterday, uh, vomiting and diarrhea. Today, just a headache. So hopefully everything will be good today. We have a uh, big ride planned, uh, I think 260 kilometers and a good probably six, seven hours on the bike to get to uh, the region of uh, Pablo Escobar, which is uh, a beautiful place uh, supposedly. So it's uh, almost all off-road today or gravel roads. So it should be really good. Boys are ready. We had a good day of uh, relaxing here in Via de Leyva. Uh, yesterday was a day off. Uh, only Carl, he went out for a ride because he couldn't help himself. The rest of us are, yeah, I was vomiting most of the day and the other ones were just uh, cruising, having fun. So uh, let's get out of here. Coffee break done. We're on the top of a mountain right here. It's uh, foggy everywhere. So from here it goes down and a little bit up again and down a little bit up and down, 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 down. This is a big canyon, a big green canyon. Mike says we're doing a little bit of the ass stretching here, so that's what we're doing right now. Johnny, ¿qué haces? An extra tube, just Thank in case. You. Just in case, number four flat, so. On the tour. So this was San Pablo de Borbur, and we are going to, what's it called, Mike? Doradal. Doradal. But uh, before that, we have a lot of other stuff that we're gonna see and ride. But Doradal is uh, 156 kilometers from here, and it's four and a half hours. Moving on. We just entered a little bit of um, gravel road now and just at the entrance it had a big sign that said natural disaster. Shit. This looks like a dangerous road. Pieces of the walls are just falling down. Wow, nice waterfall. There's some big mountains here, huh? They're just never wow. ending. 
That was a cooler little piece of mud road. Yeah, not bad. There's probably more of that. Yeah. Hola. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Buenas. ¿Qué tal? Buen día. Buen día. Hey. If you hit the, the middle, that's six points. And um, what about if you hit the firework? I don't know. It just scares the shit out of you. Oh, that's three? That's three. Okay. Good ride, eh? Yeah, real good. Up next is lunch. My first meal of the day, really. Stomach is feeling good again. That's our service truck, look at that, fuck. Buenas. No, lunch done, fish. Rice, beans, and platano. Classic Latin American meal. And now we got an hour, 56 minutes, 76 kilometers. And we hear a lot of thunder and crossing our fingers we won't get showered. Hola. Hola, hola. We're done here with the, the Magdalena River that runs from the north to the south to the Caribbean and I don't know where, it's a big river. <sighs> All right, so we're here at Pablo Escobar's old ranch, Hacienda Napoles. And right behind us, where the palm tree is, right there behind me, that's where the original gate used to be, which was a famous white gate with a drug trafficking plane on, uh, on top of it, which was uh, his way to give the fuck you finger to the authorities. 
by putting his first drug trafficking plane up on that gate. It's been taken down now because uh, Pablo Escobar is a really delicate and uh, kind of yeah, I'm, uh, kind of a taboo uh, theme here in Colombia. Uh, many people have was affected by his atrocities and his activities. Uh, so they're really trying to erase the story and. Uh, the, their own history about it, which I, th I personally feel is absolutely ridiculous. Instead, they've made a Jurassic Park themed <laughs> family park with di cement dinosaurs and water slides, I don't know what. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think they should use the opportunity to uh, tell the real story about Pablo Escobar, collect all the money they could, give that to the victims of his atrocities, and uh, yeah, everybody should uh, accept the history and uh, right. educate the new generations to don't do that shit. You told me before that uh, back in the day he had many escape routes, right? Yeah, so from this farm he had like 10 different escape routes. He built an artificial lake uh, and he had a hovercraft up by his mansion where he could start it up and slide across the, the lake and escape on the other side. There are horse trails, there are four wheel drive trails. He had motorbikes. He had actually a landing strip there where they uh, would uh, fly out from. Um, so yeah, he's he's famous for racing motorbikes and cars and stuff like that. So he had a bunch of old cars down there as well. Sounds like he had a good time on his own. He uh, he enjoyed life, I think. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're not gonna go in there and, uh, to nah, see a dinosaur. I mean, exactly. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a silly park now and uh, full of uh, just uh, Colombian families. Uh, bring their children in in this macabre weird uh, <laughs> place where where the worst guy in the world used to live yeah all right so we're moving on to a hotel yeah let's go to a hotel all right see ya what i don't know ah she's in vivo okay this is okay this is not in dindi no sé. <laughs> sí hablo, pero no lo entiendo. Sí, 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 tú haces video. Video, ah, sí, cierto. Sí, estoy haciendo video ahora mismo contigo. Ah, mira, te estoy grabando. ¿Cómo te llamas? Ah, bueno, es, es, es complicado. Este moto es de viaje. Ya son viajeras. Así es. Que le vaya muy bien. Luego, Mike clearly gives zero fucks about a dinosaur action park on top of Pablo Escobar's old land. So we're moving on. You glad? So this is the hotel. I, I don't think there's uh, too much more action today, is there? No, that's a swimming pool. You can jump in if you want. There's a pool. Might try that. It's been a really great day. I think we're all tired. I'm definitely tired. Miguel is really tired. Uh, I haven't slept much because he hasn't slept much and because he's snores. <laughs> uh, so looking forward to a good sleep tonight and uh, ready for another day tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it today. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. If not, no worries. See you on the next one.